Hello and welcome to uh, this episode of Games for All Extra, episode 14. Um, 14? Yeah. Really? Mad. Well, we haven't done a video episode in a while and we want to apologise for that. We've been very busy with the audio podcast. Um, you want to apologise, I'm alright with it. Fair enough. Well, way back in November we did episode 13, which was yep. connected, so we haven't done anything since. So we're taking this opportunity to record another video for you guys. Um, we've got more stuff planned for the future. Yeah, so we'll try to get one coming. out each quarter, won't we? Hopefully, yeah. So, uh, quick mention about the website. We've mentioned on this week's show, but a uh, new website coming, hopefully around the time this video comes out, uh, Uh Brand new layout, new look, and uh, yeah, some higher quality videos. So that's all good. Um, so, we haven't done a video episode this year, 2011. Mm. So we're going to do a quick recap of what's come out and show some footage of some of the cool games that are out to buy now. We're going to talk about what's coming out this week and what we're looking forward to in the coming months. So, first of all, I mean, it's, you could argue it's been a bit of a slow start, but we've had Dead Space yeah. 2 that's out at the moment. Um, you know, scary as hell. You've played a bit of it. You yeah. don't like it, but no. you, I'm going to force you to play I'll, it one I'll day. I'll play it. Uh, one of the most, um, just most tense, creepiest, horrible... Yeah, amazingly beautiful um, AAA titles. Sort of, you know. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people are arguing that it's not really a survival horror game. It's kind of more of just a, a AAA action title, but it's kind of a bit of everything. So that's out already. Um, something we haven't mentioned is Dead Space for um, iPad. That's that's that came out out of nowhere. It looks amazing. Have an iPad. Yeah. A game that came out last week, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Three. We talked about it on this week's show, episode thirty nine. Of the audio podcast. Um, awesome game. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is out now on PS3 and 360. Um, so much fun to play, such an amazing oh, looking awesome game. game. Awesome game. It runs so smoothly. Um, we played it at MCM and I wasn't that fussed about it at all. I, like I said, I'm a fan of the Marvel vs. Capcom series, but I wasn't that fussed about number three when we, when we played it. That was it for me. I was so excited for this game, and now that it's out, um, I've, I'm just going to keep playing it until I've, my fingers bleed. But yeah, totally. I actually feel totally. like it's better. I think this is a better game than Street Fighter Four. I will concede Way that. Way more fun. I mean, yeah. not that there's yeah, anything wrong with Street Fighter Four, but I, I really think this is a fantastic yeah. game. There's more fun. There's more variety for the characters. Yeah, fan- fantastic characters. Um, tons of unlockable stuff. Just if you want a fun fighting game, you just can't get better than this at the moment. No. So, uh, this week's big release, uh, we're going to talk about in depth, a little, well, a little bit in depth, we've, we've just got our hands on it actually, we're going to give our first impressions of Bulletstorm. Uh, this game I've been kind of anticipating a little while, yeah. well, it's on my yeah. list, my top five list, and I was very, very intrigued to play, it's from Epic Games and People Can Fly and EA. Um, yeah, basically it is, how would you describe this game? It's kind of a, it's a first person shooter yeah. with kind of... It's uh, with an arcadey kind of feel. Like oh, definitely the, an arcade. With the kind like of the um, the score system. shots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Basically, you get awarded points for killing things certain ways, and then you can spend those points on ammo or upgrades or whatever. But so that pretty kind of much the is the, that is pretty much the game. Yeah. Though. So we've had hands on with this with the retail version of the game. We played the demo. We kind of thought that was all right. Um, played it for a few hours. I'll be honest, my first impressions, I'm a little bit let down by this game. It's, it, you know, I'm not sure quite what I was expecting from it, but, you know, when you see, like, Epic Games and EA, you kind of think, well, yeah, this is a big deal. And, uh, I don't know, like, it's a great-looking game, it looks amazing, the latest version of Unreal Engine, you know, still a few issues with it. Still pop up. The graphics are great, but there's cer- certain inconsistency. I think some of the character models don't look that great mm. at times. Some of the graphics are really amazing in places. Like, some of the lush environments look just beautiful, and you're in some kind of dark, dank place that looks like arse. And it just uh, it just doesn't gel very well. But, like, 
when it comes down to this game, I think things that don't do it, uh, you know, things that definitely do it a disservice are the story. The story isn't that amazing. It's just I, kind of run of the mill. The premise is passable. They could have done so much with it, but they kind of didn't. Yeah, I mean, you could yeah, you could probably forgive it for that. The characters aren't that likable. I mean, one of the things I love about Gears of War is that the yeah. characters you can you can you kind of root for them. This this is the thing. There's obviously always going to be comparisons with Gears of War, but True. Marcus Phoenix was a badass, badass, badass. <laughs> Doesn't work in a British accent. No, we're going badass. Um, yeah, he was a big sort of gruff football player shaped dude and you know it was all manly manless and a lot of people have made jokes about this Bulletstorm I think have tried to take that a bit too far is is no yeah the whole thing is over the top and usually I'd be get I'd get behind that and be like yeah you know it's an over the top game it's lots of fun Mark Smith was a meathead but at least we liked him this he was a new character man, yeah, exactly. Grey he's a cunt Grayson Hunt is a cunt yeah, yeah. so um <laughs> Poetry. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, the characters aren't likable. The script is, in fact, I think pretty th- awful to be honest. I think the only character I actually like is the one who's not even properly human anymore. He's the only one I can like sympathise. He hates the main character, which I, yeah, yeah. You, as you play, you kind of think, why am I playing as this dickhead? Why can't I be playing as the cool character? Who's Precisely. Actually? Yeah, that's the thing with this game. Don't get me wrong, the gameplay is fun. You know, the whole working out skill shots. That's, I mean. I think the most fun weapon in it I've found so far, I mean, we're only like, I'm about three or four hours into the game, is the flail gun. Some yeah. of the stuff you can do with that's pretty cool, but I mean, there's not enough of a game here. I mean, I, in this day and age, we don't just want cool gameplay, we want a decent story, likable characters, the graphics to be not just amazing, but consistently amazing. Mm. And it, it, it falls flat, and uh, you know, it, a lot of times when it could have really excelled and been something amazing shame right? real missed opportunity but um, it could have been you you, could, you look at it and you play it and you think you know what this bit could have been so much better if yeah they did that and there's a lot of that like I said I mean yeah absolutely I mean it just doesn't I mean it's, it's over the top for over the top sake and yeah. maybe it'll appeal to some people but it just comes off as being arrogant and obnoxious and kind of you know I, I mean you just that, the core cool gameplay is fun. I'll carry on playing it for that, but that's all that I'm in it for now. And I'm really disappointed because this game could have been something so amazing. But um, yeah, the, it, same here. I think I'll probably play through it once just to get through the whole game. But yeah, I doubt I'll pick it up again. It's a shame because I was really looking forward to this game. I'm really excited about it, and I don't know somewhere it's kind of lost its way. And it is probably going to be one of those games that's going to be a little bit forgettable. By the time any of the year rolls around, VGAs and that, I don't think it's going to be getting any awards, that's for sure. You want to make out? Just two gruff, military-hardened dudes sitting in an elevator, snuggling out their woes in a totally hetero way. Uh-oh. Gameplay's fun. If you, if you, if you, know, if you played the demo, you, you found how, like, you're having fun with that kind of thing. Probably worth a look, but I can guarantee you'll play it once and possibly trade it in. That's my thoughts on it. So here's to Gears Three. Other than yeah, other than the Gears Three beta, you know, I couldn't see a lot of people perhaps just trading it in after the fact after that's been done with. But uh, so a little bit disappointed with Bulletstorm. I'll carry on playing it, and we'll talk about it on episode forty of the podcast. It's in next week's episode. So, um, but not all doom and gloom. We are. We, there's still some hope out there. We've got plenty of games coming up in the next few months, and we're just going to talk quickly about some of those that we're excited for. Dragon Age 2, well, it's the sequel to, I think it was 2008's Dragon Age Origins? 2009. 2009, was it? Yeah. Really? Blimey. Anyway, it looks fantastic, so much better than the first game. Not that I didn't love the first game, but it just looked, it's taken, graphically it's improved so much, it looks more like, especially on the consoles, looks more like how the PC version was, and with the original there was like a big sort of contrast between there, but it's... Kind of a medieval, high, dark fantasy adventure game. Typical Bioware. You know that the story's going to be good, that's a given. When's it out? It's out March 11th in the UK. Yeah. 
Home Front is a game that comes out from THQ. It is a first-person shooter. I think you can kind of argue that in this day and age, first-person shooters are getting a bit stale. But we'll see how that goes. It's basically the story there is that um, Korea attacked the US. And uh, you're kind of fighting them on your home soil. Interesting. Could be amazing. Could be total bullshit. We'll find that on March 18th. It makes a change from Russia. Interesting. Yeah, true. So uh, also out next month is Crisis Two. We really I played a bit of the, uh, the multiplayer demo thing. It was kind of all right. Very excited to play the single player mode. March twenty fifth. That's out. Also out on the 25th of March is Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, it's a follow-up to the classic Deus Ex series. It's kind of a reboot. Um, looks amazing. Been really excited about it since the trailers and looking forward to getting my hands on it. Excellent. Well, these are all games that we're going to be talking about on the podcast, the audio podcast, in the coming weeks. We've very excited for these games. Hopefully there won't be as much of a letdown as Bulletstorm. So, um, announced last week, and we spoke about this also on this week's audio podcast, mm. a game called Dead Island. Um, if you if you if you haven't seen this freaking trailer, where have you been? We are oh we're gonna God. we're gonna play this trailer in a second for you guys. But um, this game was supposed to come out in two thousand and eight. There was a tra- a teaser trailer for it in two thousand and seven. It it looked amazing then. I ha- I mean, who knows how it looks now? But this game has kind of been. There's been no information about it until last week when this trailer came out. So watch this and enjoy. As much as we did.
Well, thank you very much for watching this episode of Games for All Extra. We will try our very best to be back with some more videos um, in the coming Three months. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll see how it goes. We've got some things planned. Um, you know, can't really talk about them. All top secret. But um, thank you I very much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, oh yeah, there's going to be a Halloween special this year. Yeah, I knew that was coming. So, anyways, um, thank you for downloading and supporting us. Please check out the website www.gamesforallpodcast.com if you haven't already. Uh, we're on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash games for all. And you can also check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash games for all podcast. If you want to email us, the email address is podcast at games for all podcast.com. And the links to all these are on the main site as well. Indeed. Thank you very much for uh, downloading and supporting us and subscribing, and uh, we'll see you soon.